Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see in the thumbnail, today's video is about the questions and myths that Mexicans have about Indians. Uh, while I was working, many of these questions were asked to me and some other questions I came to know while I spoke to my Indian friends. So I thought why not address them in this video. And the Indian population here in Mexico has started increasing for the past seven or eight years. And hence, uh, Mexicans had not seen Indians before or probably they are seeing uh, Indians for the first time in their country and hence they have these questions. So I hope this video will be helpful to you and you will know more about us. So let's begin. The first and foremost question is why do we wear bindi? As you can see, I'm wearing a bindi too. And I usually wear this when I'm wearing an Indian dress. And uh, as you can see, it is also a sticker. It's not a uh, powder that I'm putting. But years ago, uh, our ancestors used to put something called kumkum. It is a red powder. Uh, this was made from different uh, things and it was supposed to be a cooling agent. And years ago, uh, our men and women both used to wear uh, kumkum on their forehead. Men used to wear a tilak and women used to wear it like a bindi. And uh, obviously, as the years passed, uh, the fashion statement changed and people started wearing it as a fashion or a beauty adornment. And they started wearing it sticker in different colors, in different shapes. And as the years passed, as I said, um, men stopped wearing it, women started making it as a fashion statement. But yes, even now in temples or when we have puja, men and women equally we put the kumkum, which is in red color powder, which we uh, take as a blessing from the God and we do apply it on uh, any festival or any special day. And the next question is, why don't I have a wedding ring? Well, in Hindu religion, wedding ring is not really compulsory for us. We do exchange it uh, in our engagement ceremony. But for marriage, we have something called Mangal Sutra, which is like a, a chain in gold usually. And uh, there are different lockets or there is one single locket. In different states, it's different. So I cannot really specify on that. But we have something called Mangal Sutra, which is a chain and which usually the married women wear. And a wedding ring is not as compulsory as a Mangal Sutra for us. Another myth or a question I've been asked is that all Indians are engineers and all Indians are into IT field. Well, no, that's not true. Um, we have uh, Indians in different fields and uh, it's not just in IT. Maybe you feel that because here most of the Indians come here because of their uh, job in IT field. But uh, if you go to India, you will find them in different fields. Uh, many people are doing business, many are into automobile and different industries. So that's not true. But yes, we Indians, uh, since the competition is high in India and uh, since it's obviously highly populated and the opportunities are less, we tend to study a lot. We try to get a degree before getting a job. And that's why I think you feel that we are very smart and we study a lot and we are all engineers. But no, that's a myth. It's not true in all cases. Next one is a funny question asked to me by my student. Uh, one day my student watched a movie in Netflix and the next day she came and asked me if we always wear these kind of colorful clothes in India, uh, whether we wear it like in a daily basis. And I was uh, finding it really funny and I thought I should address this because in case most of you think that we always dress up like that. No, maybe in some remote places you will find people wearing clothes like this. But if you go to any metropolitan cities, uh, we are dressed casually. We, in fact, we're not even sometimes wearing kurtis or Indian clothes. We are in casuals in, or in formal clothes if we are working. But uh, yes, for weddings or any special occasions, we are dressed as colorfully as we can. The next one that uh, most of the Mexicans feel is that we Indians nod a lot. Yes, the head wobbling. I think I personally also do that a lot. While uh, when I have to say yes or no, I you know nod my head or I say no like this. So I think, uh, I don't know why we do that. I don't know, it's nothing to do with tradition or nothing to do with any uh, Indian culture. But yes, uh, we have heard this a lot from the West too, that we Indians nod our head a lot. I think it's, uh, we're used to that. And uh, probably because we are more diplomatic, we don't want to 
confirmly say yes or no so we just nod our head saying you know yes or no in between i don't have any specific reason why we do that in case any indians uh, want to say why we do that please leave that in the comment even i would like to hear why we do that another question that most of them have about indians is why do we live with our parents even when we are 20 or 21 years old well the reason is in India, we don't have part-time jobs opportunities like we have here in Mexico or in the United States. Uh, such opportunities are very less and hence we are financially dependent on our parents and we have to live uh, with them uh, till we get a good job. Apart from that, uh, we are also into we are also very used to the joint family system because uh, we have been living with our aunts, uncles. But of course, after many years, it has changed. We are into nuclear families, but still we have that concept of living with our parents. You know, going out of our parents' house is like you know you don't love your parents or something like that. So we are emotionally attached with our family, and hence we try to live with them. And even when we find a job, only if the job is in another state we move and live alone if the job is in the same state as our parents then we prefer to live with them instead of paying uh, rent uh, for another house and even our parents prefer it like that they love it when we are with them so i think uh, we all uh, we are all used to that and we live there till we find a job in some other place or till we are married Another question that many of them have about Indians is why do we eat our food with hands? Well, there was a question even in my Onam video asking why I was eating the food with hand. Uh, but of course, the person respected our culture. But the main reason is that uh, first and foremost, we believe that our washed hands are cleaner than any cutlery. And the second one is that uh, the ancients believed that our five fingers are the extension of five elements, which helps us to know the taste, texture, temperature of the food and also helps us for better digestion. Also, there is a bacteria which is released in our uh, hand palm, which helps us in the uh, better digestion of the food. Another popular question that uh, most of them ask is how can Indians do arranged marriage? Well, I'm sure this question uh, has been asked from many other different parts of India, not just in Mexico, uh, because it's not very popular in other countries, but it's very popular in India. Well, the reason behind that is um, mainly because we obviously trust our parents. We believe that their choice is the best. And uh, in during the marriage, uh, the parents, they generally find out about the boy or about the girl and their family, uh, other things. So in India, we believe that a marriage is not just between two people, but it is between two families. So it's very important that the boy or the girl comes from a good family or is financially, you know, dependent, sorry, financially independent and can take uh, uh, care of his or her partner. And hence, the parents do all these background check and they make sure that the boy or the girl is perfect match for uh, their kid. And but of course, this is not 100% successful and uh, off late, uh, even we realize that and people are not getting into arranged marriage. There are many love marriages that is happening in India, too. So it's not that common that people are doing arranged marriages now in India. And the last one that most of them ask, but I think they have the answers now, is why do we wear, I mean, why don't we wear slippers inside the house or shoes inside the house? Well, I think now during this COVID time, most of them are also following the same thing that you don't wear the shoes that you wear outside uh, and you don't come inside the house. And that's exactly the reason why we didn't do that earlier too. In India, we uh, usually uh, don't wear outside shoes inside. We leave that outside the house. And there was a tradition of washing your legs and then going inside the house. But of course, that has changed during the time. And that's mainly because of that. So we don't bring the bacteria and virus uh, from outside the house. And also uh, earlier uh, in ancient times, we used to eat food down. We didn't have dining table. So the, the food plate was down and we don't like any, you know, the dust or uh, bacteria coming because of the shoes. And that could be the main reason. 
So I hope I answered uh, most of your questions and I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and uh, you know it solved your questions or it solved your doubts that you had in mind about us and uh, in case you have any more questions do let me know in the comments and if any of my Indian friends have their opinion or they want to share something please mention that in the comments too. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye.